Hello everyone, today we are going to take a look at some very nice cine lenses for the Fujifilm cameras from Meika. I love shooting wide videos and Meika was kind enough to send me these 10mm T.22 and 25mm T.22 cine lenses to review on my channel. Hello everyone, my name is Andre Dima, I am a professional travel photographer and video maker and today I am going to test these cine lenses from Meika. Let's start with build quality. The build quality is great. Meika always made very nice and sturdy metal lenses, but these look like a step up. I love the black smooth finish, not glossy, so it's not a fingerprint magnet. The lenses have a nice red line near the front element. The rest of the markings are white and painted. The lens mount is made from metal, but it has no electronic contacts and no rubber gasket. These lenses are completely manual and they don't have weather sealing. They are budget lenses. The lens iris ring and focus ring are metal and they have gears on them like all cine lenses. The gears are deep and work very well with a follow focus system. These lenses are part of a bigger set. I am reviewing these because I mostly shoot wide video in my travels, but all lenses have the gear rings in the same position, so it is easier to switch them on your setup. They also have the same filter thread size, 77mm. The weight of the 10mm is 575 grams and the 25mm weighs 515 grams. These lenses also have a great minimum focus distance. The 10mm has 30 cm and the 25 has 25 cm. Not bad at all. These lenses are also pretty compact compared to other cine lenses, so they are going to be easier to use on a gimbal or carry around if used for travel projects. The focus throw is 260 degrees and as I said these lenses are pretty compact for cine lenses as you can see here. Besides the Tamron 17-70mm f2.8 and the Fujifilm 33mm f1.4 LMWR. The focus and iris rings work smoothly on both lenses and they are a joy to use manually or with a follow focus. A great characteristic of cine lenses, good cine lenses, is reduced or no focus breathing and these lenses deliver in this regard. Both have very well controlled focus breathing as you can see here. I was expecting the 10mm to have more focus breathing but I was pleasantly surprised. But where these lenses shine is image quality. I am going to start with the 10mm T.2 2 because this is my favorite, maybe my favorite ultra wide angle lens for a video. I also like the size, balances so well on all my Fujifilm cameras. Ok, image quality, well this is going to be short because it is great. This lens is super sharp from T.22. Let's watch some footage I recorded and then tell me what you think about these lenses in the comments below. Well that looks great, doesn't it? If you stop down to T2.8 or T4 you get extra details and contrast in the far edges and corners. Maybe a bit more sharpness in the center but I think this lens is sharp enough. What can I say, I like lenses with a bit more character but these are impressive when it comes to image quality. Perfect for travel and real estate. And the distortion on these lenses is very well controlled. Now let's take a look at the 25mm T.22. Again, amazing performance if you're looking for a super sharp lens. Sharp from T.22, just like the 10mm. These lenses would make a great set for travel and real estate as I said earlier. If you stop down the lens, the same thing happens like on the 10mm. The image gets sharper and you get more contrast on the far edges and corners. 
Let's watch some footage and see if I am right about these lenses. Tell me what you think in the comments below. That looks great in my opinion. These lenses have really good image quality. Now let's see how they handle flare. When it comes to chromatic aberrations, well, as you saw in my footage, there is none, even at T.22, on both lenses. There is no difference in color between the lenses, no odd color cast or other thing like that. The colors match, and that is what you want from a CineLens set. The T.2 aperture is enough in my opinion for some low light footage on Fujifilm cameras. If you denoise the footage you are going to be very happy with the results because of the sharpness of these lenses. You will have plenty of detail in your footage. Let's see how the lenses perform at minimum focus distance and how does the bokeh look. Straight from T.2 2.2 the lenses are sharp and the bokeh looks nice and smooth. The bokeh balls look uniform on both lenses and I don't see any soap bubble effect. Overall great performance from the Meika Cine lenses, great image quality, no chromatic aberrations, no focus breathing, little distortion, well built, bright enough at T.22 and they balance very well on Fujifilm cameras. What can I say, if you are looking for wide sharp cine lenses for your work then I highly recommend these ones and if you think they are too sharp you can always use a diffusion filter to dirty your footage. If this video was helpful subscribe and ring the bell to get notified when I upload more videos and if you want to support the channel even more use the links in the description at no extra cost to you. See you next time.